Well, the monarch butterfly is Alabama's official state insect, in case you didn't know. The black and orange markings are unmistakable, but it may not be so easy to spot this type of butterfly forever. Scientists say the migratory monarch is officially endangered. News 19's Lauren Layton has the story. A trip to the Huntsville Botanical Garden isn't complete without a stop by their butterfly house. The Pretty Butterfly House is the largest open air butterfly house in the U.S. And one of its biggest stars, the monarch. The monarch is one of the species in here that makes the space magical, but also lets us educate on the importance of our mission of connecting people to plants and their role in the ecosystem. But their future is uncertain. Scientists with the International Union for the Conservation of Nature now say migrating monarchs are on the red list, making them two steps away from extinction. It is a red flag that we should be concerned about. Matthew Niemiller is an ecologist and associate professor with the University of Alabama at Huntsville. He says habitat destruction and climate change are just some of the things making it tougher for monarchs to successfully migrate from places like Canada to Mexico. Where they overwinter, the, a lot of the trees that they essentially kind of roost in have been lost to logging. Um, here during the summertime, uh, they rely critically on milkweed. So if we lose the milkweed, right, through you know, clearing of land, right, use of herbicides and whatnot. Well, that's going to impact the, the modern butterflies as well. That's why the garden's director of learning and public engagement, Rebecca Turk, says it's important for us to do what we can to protect the environment. Milkweed is their food source, so planting more of that in home landscapes and community gardens will help increase and make sure that that part of the ecosystem is healthy for them to continue to migrate through. A small task to save a big member of the butterfly family. Uh, very easy to grow, beautiful to have in a home landscape, and it's really fun to watch to see when the monarchs come. In Huntsville, Lauren Layton, News 19. Both Dr. Niemiller and Turk agree the ecosystem is all interconnected. Losing any member of the pollinator population would have lasting impacts felt by both animal and human food sources. To learn more about this story, just check it out on WHNT.com. You can search monarch.